this software is great. My kids absolutely love it. Um, it's a blast to kind of explore all the different areas um, of the world, really. We've explored pyramids, uh, the Louvre, um, our school, White House, Gillette Stadium, where the Patriots play. You're going to see this familiar globe each and every time it starts up. And uh, you see now where the mouse is, uh, places where you can kind of mark different spots. Um, and then the search bar, and then the menu bar up top here. Um, and right now I want you to type in um, a place that you're interested in visiting. My students absolutely love the Pentagon in Washington. That was a favorite place for us to do some geometry and discuss um, area and perimeter, as I'll show you soon. So you type in your place, you hit search, and depending on your graphics card, um, as Google Earth flies you to the area that you're searching, um, it will be very pixelated or it might be blurry and fuzzy, but if you give it a moment, it really kind of straightens itself out and becomes clear again and looks nice. So here we are in Washington. So you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to kind of zoom in, zoom out. You can grab the photo just by clicking the left mouse button and kind of dragging it around. And I'm going to show you how to do the area and perimeter. Go to Tools, and then down in Tools it says Measure. Click on that, and then go ahead and simply click on a corner of a building, and then drag it, and then click again, and you'll see the length of the line right there. And I'll show you this again. Again, there's the length of the line and the unit of measurement. In the drop-down menu, you can select a variety of different units of measurement. They have centimeters, meters, yards, feet, inches, um, and one other that I hadn't heard of until I did a search of it. Um, so again, you go to measure, click on that, and then, uh, there we go, and then you can, you know, adjust the unit of measurement that you would like, um, and you just point in one corner of the building, and then drag it to the next, and you can kind of go all the way around the building here so we could talk to my students about perimeter. This is our school and they really get a kick out of it when they see their own building. Um, they're looking for cars in the parking lot and of course, of course these photos aren't updated or in real time um, but, but it is really familiar to them and they absolutely love it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you use Google Earth in your classroom. You gotta make learning fun. Absolutely. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.